Hey, it's Juan with my very own rig rundown for the Dr. Octagon Tour. And yes, I am bringing this many pedals, these many, because the new record's heavy. Nobody has heard it because it's not released, but has a lot of heavy stuff. I put a lot of affected bass on it. And then the old stuff, I do some weird stuff. And let me show you where I'm at. So this is tuner, mute. There, I'm muted. Um, right next to that is my envelope filter. It's the BR2 by Gaia Tone, bottom wall rocker. Next to that, of course, everybody knows, fuck it, I've always used this. Sounds great with flats, that's why I'm using it on this thing. So that makes this bass sound good. Um, this is the vibrato pedal, of course. I've had this for years. And then next to it, prunes and custard, because I'm doing a lot of weird synth sounds. This thing sounds great with this bass, with the Goya bass that I'm playing. Rainbow Machine for crazy modulated drops. I have the magic on and I'll just like, in between songs, just start dropping pitches down and all the weird trails that the Rainbow Machine does. Goes into the TWA, The Great Divide by Godlike. This is like a micro synth on steroids. Um, yes, and so I'm using it. This is like the sub, lower octave, dry signal, upper octave, synth sound. Awesome. Next to that, Fairfield Circuitry from Canada. It's the ring mod. Everybody's like, what? You're going to use a ring mod on bass? Yes, because there's a song, Wild and Crazy, off the first Octagon record, and I get that exact synth sound with this. Next to that, the bitmap. I'm using it like a super crushed, low, get, you know, bit crushing, and I have to have the compressor on with it in order for it to activate. Next to that, the Eruptor, the new Earthquaker device's fuzz. It sounds, it's my favorite is with flatwounds. This thing really, really was made for flatwound bass. And I like it a little bit gated, so that's where I'm clocking that dude. OC2, synth sound, oct the, the two octave down is all the way off. Octave, uh, uh, this one octave down is all the way up. And then the direct level is off. This, the meat box, Nick is going to love this. Noah, the sound man for uh, Octagon, has asked me to just run this so he can run it. So it's always uh -huh. on. It's always on. Uh -huh. So, so yes, Nick, you, you get your way because he at, Noah wanted it. So he wanted to control. That, in, that goes to a DI or something? It's going to go. Yeah, it's going to the sample so you can hear it, but it's going to uh -huh. go straight to the DI. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then, uh, so I'm going to have two DIs at every show. Anyway. Yes, Nick. And then I usually, as if anybody knows, I usually just have it in my line and I trigger it through my bass rig and the PA just because I want to control it, but I'm giving up control to Noah. The Hummingbird, chopping stuff up. The, my favorite analog delay ever made, the Endangered Audio Research 84096. Um, but I do it just because we do a lot of like psych shit and I'll just tweak out the delays and just mess with the time. And then this is the same thing. I use it in between songs. I've done it for years with Mars Volta. In between songs, you always hear those cycles going. And let's start with that. So, you know, one note, right? And then you put this on. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll get a cool sound, <laughs> hopefully. So already that sounds good. Or I'll hit this sucker. So all those different sounds sound cool going through this. I had this on my rig rundown for Premier Guitar um, years ago. So really the only new stuff that I'm really messing with is the Prunes and Custard, the Eruptor, the Bitmap, the Fairfield Circuitry. Actually, I guess half of it hasn't been with me on a lot of stuff, but I've been using this for the last three or four years, but whatever. Anyway, so let me just rip through some sounds. So here's uh, just my bass sound for most of the, the, the set. Sorry. Whoa. Dude, what is this it's going? Told you. Get those fuckers clean. Too many switches. It's going. I have another Goya, but switches, I can't bring it out there. Switches are cool on guitars, but that's what happens to the cool old switches. Okay, so there. That's kind of <laughs> janky, but oh well. Here's my envelope. Oh, here. 
So there, envelope bass vibrato. So I don't always just use it like that. I'll put usually get another sound with it. Or so any sound that I get, it sounds better with vibrato the way I hear it. And then of course rainbow machine. So that's what I meant about just getting different sounds in between songs. So anyway, so that's how I use a rainbow machine. God like. So now imagine this, imagine what I just did, but the meat box is constantly on and the guy blends it all together. So that is a big synth sound. I, I'm gonna keep the meat box on because that's how I'm playing. Wild and Crazy, one of the, off the first Octagon record, this sound. Wild and crazy. So there, that's that. I have to use that ring mod in that. Um, and I just showed you how I use the bit. Kind of like a fuzz, but it's a fucked up fuzz. And then here's another cool fuzz. And then of course the OC2. Now with the meat box. That is gonna be bumping PAs. And then of course, The problem though with this system is that when I chop up the sound in the tremolo with the, with the hummingbird, the meat box is just gonna sound like this. But the other signal is gonna be doing this. So you're gonna have a sustained meat box not being chopped up, but I don't wanna build another pedal board. I don't have the time and I don't have the weight. You have to make certain sacrifices. Yes, like yes, yeah, thank you. And then delay. And what I meant, like, we'll just sit there. And that's just like when we just go bananas. And then it's like I said, this one. We started here, we end there. And of course, the meat box won't be hitting that. I, I mean, unless I did, I don't know. I don't know how else to do that. I get, you know, it's, 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 I tried to do that in Halo Orbit where I always could control the meat box. It's just, you just have to sacrifice and give in. So that's it, that's my rig.